Hey everyone, this is a quick video about the art core sketch I just programmed, which I call the Dirty Mirror. It's a sketch to combine two control voltages, like LFOs or ADSRs for example, but you can also use it for audio as well up to a point. Let's dive right in. I plug the digital analog converter output into the oscilloscope and feed a triangle wave LFO into the analog 2 input. When I dial up the attenuator, we can see that the triangle wave LFO is fed out of the digital analog converter output. And if I dial it up even more, we can see that wave folding occurs. The analog zero knob is a threshold knob. When I increase this, I can shave the bottom of the waveform off, but I can still fold it over below the threshold. Now let me feed a ramp LFO into the analog three input. When I dial up the attenuator now, we can see that the ramp is flipped and added to the bottom below the threshold of the waveform. If I dial it up even more, it will also fold over. And I can of course combine this with the folded wave of the first LFO. So this will already give me some really interesting control voltages from two simple LFOs. Let's listen to this control voltage when modulating a filter cutoff frequency from the eternal spring filter. but there's more to this sketch. I use the D0 and the D1 trigger outputs to send a trigger whenever one of the two waves reaches the threshold set by this knob. There's also a clock divider, which I control with the A1 knob. In the counterclockwise position, the triggers are turned off, but when I turn up the knob, the triggers start to come through, and the further I dial it up, the higher the clock division, so the slower the clock output. We can see that the first wave reaches the threshold, so it triggers output here. When I dial up the second wave amplitude, we can also see it reaching the threshold and then triggers our output here. I can use those triggers now to trigger envelopes or modulate something else in my modular system. Okay, but that's still not all to the sketch. I also use the clock input to switch modes. Right now we've looked at the wave combiner mode or the dirty mirror, which I call it, but it can also do wave subtraction and multiplication. The next clock trigger which reaches the clock input will switch to the wave subtraction mode. This subtracts wave 2 from wave 1. The next mode multiplies wave 1 by wave 2. The last mode on the next clock trigger is silence. Okay, why is this useful? Well, you could sync this to a clock in your modular system and then change the modulation type, which can give you a rhythmic modulation. And you can also self-patch this module, for example, the D0 to the clock input. This will automatically cycle through all the four modes. And if I took the D0 output now and send it into a clock divider and add a kick drum, for example, we could actually hear this being really interesting. And now we could even use the D1 output to trigger another sound, like some noise, for example. That's it for this video. You can download this sketch for the ArtCore for free from my GitHub page. Loading it onto the ArtCore is really simple using USB from your computer. And if you can write Arduino code yourself, then definitely check out the module and create your own sketches. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.